game, I randomly saw this, there was a streamer I watched that was playing this game yesterday, and then I ended up, I was like, wait a second, I bought that game, and uh, I hopped back on and played for like six hours yesterday, um, so I figured, you know, this would be a nice chill game for ASMR, so here we are, um, this is Game Dev Cut Tycoon, this came out a while, I mean, it had to have been at least, like, like, four or five years ago, maybe, I think it was longer than that, but it was at least, like, that long ago, and, uh, this would be, I figured this would be, like, a nice little relaxing game, um, to go and do a video for, so I'm actually logged on here, uh, I, I gotta log into work in about 25 minutes, 30 minutes, so I figured I'd go ahead and bang out, uh, a video because uh, I need to get one uploaded so <sighs> yeah we're gonna go ahead and get started and I'll kind of explain I guess for people who don't know what it is um, or if you know you don't care and you're just here for the relaxation you know you can just kind of listen along so we'll go ahead and start a new game um, but this game is um, you're basically a game designer and you start like working in your garage and you try to like build your build your company up and make games. I think I'm just going to turn off the effects because they're a bit loud. I can, I, yeah. Maybe I'll keep them. Maybe that's good. All right. But yeah, we've been um, transported back in time to start your very own game development company right at the beginning of the PC revolution. In the next 35 years, you could build your dream company, create best-selling games, gain fans, and become leaders in the market. Before you start your venture, you come to company name. All right, company name. Uh, gotta be, it's gotta be Caillou ASMR. <laughs> We're an ASMR company. Uh, let's uh, style ourselves out real quick. That's right, they don't have many. <laughs> let's go with this. Let's rock the, uh, oh yeah, was this the best? Let's rock that. We'll play without it. We'll play without it. All right, I'm just going to pause. Well, I don't really need to pause. Um, Yeah, so before I get into it, I guess real quick, uh, just as, as usual, my like update <laughs> when I start new videos, uh, just thank you guys for, um, you know, supporting the channel, liking the videos, commenting the videos, uh, just watching. I appreciate it. Uh, as I'm recording this, the channel is at 425 subscribers, so we are 75 away from our first, I'd say like one of our first like big goals. Um, so we're pretty close to 500. And at 500, I'm going to do the video of my Japan trip, of my trip to Japan, um, where I lived there for like a, over, over a year. So I'm gonna share videos and pictures of, of my time there and just kind of talk about it. And that'll be my 500 subscriber special, I guess. So, um, you know, for those of you who do care and, and are around the channel, You'll get to take a little, you know, a deeper look into my personal life, I guess, of my past personal life. Uh, so I think it'd be cool. Uh, I, I've, I've mentioned it, and I've got a lot of comments saying they want to see it, so we're going to do that. Um, so yeah, I guess that's the update. I'll go ahead and get into the video. Um, so yeah, this game, like I said, we're just a game designer, and we're trying to make some games. <laughs> so uh, let's get started. Uh, at the beginning, you pretty much just have to make a game. Um, there's other little things you could do, but I'll explain it as you go. So, um, I know this won't be popular. It's an old game, but uh, it's relaxing, and uh, I, I want to do it. So, uh, if you guys do like it, let me know. We can definitely do multiple episodes. So, all right, game number one. Wait, I need to pick a topic first. Oh, okay, we got good ones to start. <laughs> so, City is, is a good one. It's an easy combo to make at first. Sci-fi is good too. I haven't gotten virtual pet yet. I'm gonna start. We, we need to start with a banger. So I'm gonna make a city, a city simulation game, because it's a good combo. So as you'll see in this game, there are like genres and topics and stuff that that go together uh, better than others. That'll sell more copies. <coughs> and platform, we're gonna go with the G64. Um, and this is gonna be Caillou City Sim. graphics we're going to spend on. We start off with $40,000 up here in the right hand corner. Alright, so this is when you design your game. So story and quest is not going to be very important uh, in a city simulation game. We're going to make gameplay and engine higher up there. 
So there's always three stages of making the game. So it's going to ask me again um, here in a second. Um, dialogue's not important. Level design, good. Artificial intelligence, we'll keep that there. And boom, all right, next stage. A six is not terrible. Oh, we even got a seven from the last, last one. Okay, so that's average, what, like a 6.5? I said like a 6.25, I think. So that's not bad. Yeah, favorable reviews. That's not that bad. Let's see how many units we sell. Nice. First week, we sold 3,000. Navy Nick did number 71. Hey, rank 71 on the first ever video game. That's not bad. The second week sold even more. It almost doubled the sales. Here we go. Okay, we made all of our money back and, and a bunch more. So that's good. 10k units sold on the first game. So that was good. That was a solid, solid start. So now I'll show you guys what we can do. Um, so we can make a game report. We kind of need to do that. So yeah, average is 6. So now we can generate a game report. And this will tell us uh, if, the, if it was a great combination of genre and topic. It'll tell us uh, if it was good for the console we picked. All right, so city and simulation is a great combination. AI seems to be very important. Okay, so I probably could have cranked up the AI for this more. And the console and simulation genre is a good combination. So that was a good game. So now we can also research. So when we research, uh, there will be plenty more of these things to research with, at the further we progress. Um, but right now, it's just topics. And I kind of find out, I found out, so late in the game, I kind of just have to research almost every single one um, to unlock the rest. I thought you just kind of get some as you go, um, but you need to like unlock them. But I'm going to take music next. We're going to do, I think we're going to do music simulation game next, or music casual game, probably sim. So I'm going to go ahead and research the topic of music. And we'll just go ahead and crank out another game. But look, we made a bunch of money off of Caillou City Sim. So not bad, not bad. Boom. Yeah, so we made $110,000 with the first game. I think that might have been better than the last run I did. Let's go ahead. I mean, the pretty much the only thing to do here is to make another one. So um, we're going to make this Caillou Jams. Caillou Jams. And this is going to be a music simulator back on the G64. All right. And let's crank this baby out. Story and quest, not important in the simulator. Gameplay and engine is probably pretty important. Go ahead and crank that up. Uh, AI, okay, so AI, we think in simulation games, AI is going to be important. Level design, not as much. Dialogue, not important. Oh, this is going to be a hit. This is going to be a hit. The fans are going to love this game. It's, it's a music genre game, so I don't know if the game, if like this actual video game takes this into account, but I would assume that sounds pretty important for a music game. World design, no. Graphics.
perfect. Probably good, but I would assume the sound's the most important thing for a music simulator. Let's hope the game thinks the same. All right, it's done. We gotta work out the bugs first. Oh boy, Nintendo. Oh, so you guys will see. So all the game, all the consoles in this are like based off of real consoles, but it's all like stupid names. So instead of Nintendo, it's Nintendo. And you'll see the Xbox is the M box for like Microsoft, uh, and the PlayStation is the Play System. Like you'll see it all. It's funny. <coughs> I want to get this to, to design to, to ten. Come on, crank out one more design bubble. Seven. Okay. Come on. We, we've got an eight or a nine in here. Okay. There we go. A six. Come on, bro. All right. All right. That's good. That's good. <clears throat> Let's upgrade from our last one. Nice. Let's see how much money we make on this one. All right. Ooh, 4.6k units sold. Rank 15. Rank 15. We almost got a top 10k. Nice. We'll generate the game report. 7.25 overall rating. We went over a, over a one point rating above our last game. Nice. Oh, the TES. So obviously, this would be the NES. Uh, but the TES is, uh, has leaked and it will be coming out soon. Music simulation is a great combination. Graphics seems to be quite important. Okay, so graphic was actually more important. All right. All right, we're still early in the game, so there's really there's not much to do other than crank out a bunch of games. So I'm just gonna research uh, like pretty much all the topics. So I'm gonna get vocab out of the way. I actually in my last run of this game that I played yesterday, my vocab game was actually one of my best selling games. <laughs> so that was kind of funny. So, I'm going to research, I think, oh, we got Rhythm. I didn't get that last time. I want to get Pirate. I think I want to save the Pirate game for the NES, though, or the TES, excuse me. I, I want to save the Pirate game for when I make, for when we get better graphics and stuff. So, I'm going to save that. So, maybe we'll just make the vocab game. I think that's the play. Oh, but I don't have the cut. Okay, so there. I at some point I'm gonna unlock a casual genre, and I think that fits better with vocab. So we're not gonna do vocab. We're gonna do a sci-fi, a sci-fi adventure game. Um, let's do. Lost in space. I'm not going to be being very creative for these. <laughs> Lost in space, a sci-fi adventure game on the G64. We're not even going to go PC. Uh, and we'll go from there. Sci-fi adventure. All right, so story and quest and adventure game is going to be much more important uh, than a simulation game. So we will go with that. It seems like dialogues don't get important in a lot of games, but uh, AI, not so important. Level design is probably more important. Yeah, we'll get dialogue up. Come on, that's hopefully... Out. I just don't want to get any flops. No flops. All right, the TES has been released. So I think we'll make a pirate game next for the TES. Sound not as important. World design more important. We'll go with that. We'll go with that. All right, get, get the bugs out. All right. And also, um, if you couldn't tell, 
also this is the time going by so we've already been doing this for two years it's the fourth month and these little dots are the weeks in the top right corner so that's how the time's going oh boy wait all right so in case you were wondering so the time goes quick all right so we leveled up a few areas let's release this bad boy lost in space let's see how we do i think this will be okay Six seven five rating. All right, that's not bad. That's not bad. We have we've had no flops yet. Honestly, in, in this early in the game, those are not bad ratings, and we still sold a bunch. Rank fourteen. I think that's still better than the last game. All right. So contract work. So now I can do contract work. So I can take little contracts for extra cash, and it gives me research. And I need to research to research uh, new topics and new um, like game engines and stuff like that. So I can click these, and so like, oh, character design, design some characters for a game, play test. So this I'll take right now, and I'll show you how it works. Sorry, that was my phone. So I just kind of bang out this project, and I only have a certain amount of time. It looks like we should be good on this one. And I gained some research. Boom. And most important part, I get paid. So that just paid me 15000 So Lost in Space did not do too bad. We got to, we need to make a game report so we can get research and learn about how uh, the topics and genres work with each other. All right. I've got about like 10 more minutes. Um, so we will, I'm going to try and see. So once we make a million dollars, we can start making bigger games and we can potentially move out of the garage into an office. So we'll see if we can get that in the next 10 minutes. Let's see the analysis. So sci-fi adventure is a great combination, as I know. Story and quests seem to be very important, which I knew. And G64 and adventure is a great one. So that was all around a very solid. So if I make another game like this, it should be pretty good. So let's research. Let's see a new topic. I just kind of need to unlock all of them, so we'll just go ahead and get one more. And I need to save up 50 research points so we can make a new engine. Alright, yep, so TS is a massive success, so we need to get a game out. So we're going to get our pirate RPG game out for the TS. That's the plan. So let's go ahead and make a new game. Um, <laughs> we're going to make a <laughs> Pirates ASMR. So now this is a new console, so I now I have to pay for a license to make games for this. So I have to drop a big chunk of cash to be able to uh, make games on here, but, you know, it's worth it. All right, and here we go. So this is costing us a fortune. It better be a hit. All right, so it's an RPG game. So I think, <coughs> honestly, this game thinks story and quests are not too important for RPG. I think gameplay is more important. Hopefully I'm right. And also, in RPG, I think this game accounts are a dialogue a little more important than usual. And AI, not too much. I think dialogue's important in RPG. So. Sound, not so important. World design, I would think, is very important in RPG. So I'll keep it around that. I guess sound probably could have been a little more important. But we'll see. Not a whole lot of design and tech into this. We'll let it get a couple more. I don't know how much this actually affects the game, to be honest, but, you know. All right, we'll leave it at that. Level it up, let's go. All right. Come on. It's got to be good. Another seven. Go on, give me an eight. Give me an eight. Wow, okay. Not terrible, not terrible. Not terrible, okay. <clears throat> uh, 
increased variety of games also creates a market for more specialized games. Some platforms become more popular with younger gamers while other cater to more mature age groups. Oh, so now we have the, um, yeah, now we have the target audience uh, research available, which is actually good. So we should probably research that. Okay. So it looks like the game didn't do that well. Rank 64 compared to my last two. It made us money. It should make us the money back easily and some. So, you know, whatever. It is what it is. Let's research. Um, I need to do some contract work. We need to make a new engine to keep up with these games. So let's do this contract. We should be able to bang this out. strategy wait do i have anything that would work i don't think i really have a topic that's good for strategy yet and i wish i had casual let's do exposition adventure let's keep it on the gs or the g64 i mean and let's call it the expedition Let's see how this game does, and I'm gonna have to go ahead and log into work. <laughs> Story and quest important. There we go. AI, uh, we'll keep that. Dialogue, not so much. Yeah. Okay, not bad. It's pretty much on par with the rest of it. Wow, I actually got an eight. Okay. Not bad. Not bad. Better than I thought it was gonna be. Nice. So ten thousand oh wow. Okay, twenty three. Much better than the last one. Master V by then has been released. Okay. 
was not bad at all. I need to make a report for the last game. Wow, not bad, not bad. All right, so as this is all going, I guess I will go ahead and wrap it up. Um, like I said, I'm going to keep reiterating. Uh, I know this won't be that popular, um, but if you do like it, let me know or, or just like the video. You know, if it does well, obviously, I will make some more. Uh, if it does terrible, we'll see. Maybe I won't do a second one, but I, I do like this game. I think it's a good ASMR game. It's simple. You don't really got to focus. If you just want to relax and, and listen to me in the background, this is a good game for it. And I need to have some of that on my channel. So just let me know. Uh, if you didn't like it, let me know too. I Like, I don't mind. If you guys want to comment and be like, <laughs> look, man, I personally didn't like it. That's fine. Please let me know. You know, I can't know if no one interacts with the video, aside from the views. So, just let me know. Um, yeah. So, I think we'll wrap it up there with for Caillou ASMR uh, on the Death Tycoon for the um, for for this week for this episode. Um, but yeah, I appreciate it. If you guys made it here to the end of the video and you haven't already, please just go ahead and like, uh, and subscribe, and comment. Um, you're already here. You watched this long, so you must have enjoyed it somewhat. It really helps push out the videos. So, and we're so close to 500, and I want to make this Japan video. I've been tempted to just make it, um, but uh, I can't yet. So, we gotta get to 500. So, I appreciate you guys so much. Thank you for watching, and I have to get logged into work. I'll see. You, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.